emergency broadcast system. This is not a test. Repeat, this is not a test. Citizens are advised to take the following steps. Stay alert to news media events or local emergency alert notifications. Avoid contact with the infected. If evacuation is impossible, move indoors and initiate in-place sheltering. Use a gas mask, or if none are available, cover your mouth and nose with a clean cloth that has been soaked with a solution of one cup water and one tablespoon of baking soda. Also, cover bare skin and make sure that cuts and abrasions are covered. If exposed, remove clothes and seal in a plastic bag. Immediately wash off using copious amounts of warm, soapy water or a diluted 10 to 1 bleach solution. Since biological agents are being used to combat the outbreak, be sure to shut the windows and air intake vents to your shelter. If possible, stay upwind from the source of biological agents. Seek medical attention as quickly as possible after coming into contact with the infected or a biological agent. If evacuated, do not return home until local authorities say it is safe. This is the emergency broadcast system. Hey guys, Austin here with 715 Tactical. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be checking out a couple different gas masks by Mira Safety. If you ask any prepper out there what's one of the most essential items to have, a lot of them are going to say a gas mask, and it's for good reason. Look at the world that we live in today. Nuclear attacks, biological attacks, they're all plausible scenarios. I mean, they could happen at any time. Yeah, it's a little scary to think about, but companies like Mira Safety recognize that potential threat, and they're here to help you. As modern threats evolve, so do modern respirators, safety devices, and the technologies behind them. Mira Safety supplies advanced tactical defense equipment used by professionals worldwide. Now, they're available to you. Before we dive into this video, we gotta give a huge shout out to one of our channel sponsors, Black Dot Ammunition. Black Dot's always nice enough to send out the ammo that you see me shooting in my reviews. If it wasn't for them, there's no way I would be able to keep up with all these videos for you guys. Black Dot updates their inventory on their website every Tuesday and Thursday morning. But make sure you get there pretty early, as it tends to run out fairly quick. You can go ahead and use my discount code 715TACTICAL at checkout, and it'll save you some money on your order. Let's dive in. If you watch this channel frequently, we probably share a pretty similar mindset. We know in the back of our head that that situation can happen any day, any time. Evil doesn't care where you are in the world or what time it is. When evil wants to strike, it's going to happen. Being prepared for that threat is half the battle. I look at a lot of people out there in the civilian world, and in my eyes, they're not even close to being prepared. Being prepared means a whole lot of different things. Whether you stock food, firearms, ammunition, medical, PPE, you know, it's kind of never ending. Here's one reason why I think everybody should own a gas mask. We can survive three weeks without food, three days without water, but get this, only three minutes without breathable air. Three minutes is all it takes. Having a gas mask on hand, not only for yourself, but your family and your loved ones, can drastically increase the odds of you surviving that situation. But you might not realize that without the right filter, even the best gas mask is useless. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. Because modern 40mm gas mask filters are specialized to deal with any number of hundreds of toxins and airborne contaminants, ranging from chemical to biological, radiological, and even nuclear, all while fitting the same gas mask. A single filter can protect you from all of the contamination from a nuclear meltdown for 40 full hours, while another filter could help you safely navigate the smoky environment of a house fire to reach safety. You know, if you're out on the west coast and you live in California, that bitch is burning down by the minute. Having a respirator to help you navigate through those smoky scenarios, God forbid you find yourself in one, you know, these aren't a bad thing to have on hand. You might have seen one of these gas masks before. If you've ever seen the movie Tenet, it's the same one that was featured in that movie. You know, that's kind of cool. There's a lot of things to think about when you're picking a gas mask that's right for you. My personal opinion, a CBRN is the way to go. That's going to be chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear. You know, it kind of covers all bases. Let's check out the CM6M CBRN. Now this respirator comes with an MSRP of $239. That's not terribly expensive. Combining premium features with superior mil-spec construction, the CM6M CBRN Tactical Gas Mask protects your face, internal organs, and respiratory system against a full spectrum of toxic industrial chemicals and chemical warfare agents. 
including chemical biological and nuclear threats such as radioactive dust, noxious gas, vaporized pollutants, and more. Key features of this mask are going to offer a 20 year shelf life. They're compatible with 3M Safety 6878 spectacle kits. This uses widely available NATO standard 40mm filter cartridges. 40mm cartridges are pretty much the standard when it comes down to filters. The CM6M is trusted by police worldwide and government entities in the Czech Republic, Norway, Portugal, Chile, Saudi Arabia, Turkey, Kuwait, Latvia, and Lebanon. This durable rubber construction is going to meet the CBRN protection requirements. You really have to look at the material that a company is making their mask out of. If it's not up to standards, you don't want anything to do with it. One thing I will say about this mask, that if you plan on using a rifle with it, you're probably going to have a hard time. When I tried to shoulder my firearm and get a clear sight picture through my red dot, it was extremely hard and it kept bouncing off the visor of the gas mask. If you only plan on using a handgun with this gas mask, you're going to be okay. Now this also does come with a pre-installed hydration system and a canteen. That's only with the drinking system variants only. You can get it just by the mask itself, but I would highly recommend, you know, spend a couple extra bucks and get that canteen with it. That's pretty cool to have the ability of quenching your thirst while you're wearing one of these respirators. These are also compatible with Camelback water bladders with a Type M adapter. That's not included, you gotta buy that separate. But just having that option, add it to the pros. Mira is also going to include their special 5 year manufacturer warranty with this mask. A 5 year warranty is pretty damn good. It's hard to find anything well over a year these days. Another thing to think about when you purchase a respirator is if it has a speech diaphragm or not. The speech diaphragm is going to allow your audible voice to be more clear to subjects around you, making it easier to have a conversation while wearing the respirator. Let's jump over and check out the CM7M. With an MSRP of $249.95, Still, that's not extremely tough from the pocketbook. The CM7M is a military gas mask and the ultimate chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear defense system when used in conjunction with a suitable filter. The military grade technology used for this full face respirator provides comprehensive protection against the full spectrum of CBRN agents and toxic industrial chemicals in the form of gases, vapors, and aerosols. Some key benefits of the CM7M. This thing offers outstanding resistance against all kinds of CBRN agents, including riot control gases. One thing I'll point out is that this thing is extremely comfortable to wear. You know, I should use that word comfortable very lightly because in all reality it's not too comfortable wearing a gas mask, but you should be able to wear this thing all day without getting fatigued or bothering your face. The CM7M also has a low breathing resistance. It is extremely easy to breathe with the filters on in this thing. I didn't have any issues. I didn't feel claustrophobic. I didn't feel like I was gasping for air. You know, even running some drills out on the range with my firearm, I had no issues. Just like the previous respirator, this one also fits up to two 40 millimeter cartridges. You are able to put the filter on either side of the mask. You know, I find that very handy, um, especially if you're shooting a firearm, whether you're right-handed, left-handed, this helps you function a little bit more efficiently. If I had to choose between the 7M or the 6M, Personally, I would go with the 7M, just for the simple fact that it's a lot easier to use with a rifle. The 7M offers the same adjustments as the 6M, but once again, make sure you start with that center pull tab and work your way around, tightening it to your face. A good way to see if you have a good seal from your respirator to your face is push it snugly against your face and take a breath. You should feel some pretty good resistance. If you feel any air coming through, you have to refit. Keep in mind, with the 7M, your field of view is going to be less than the 6M. You're not going to have that full face visor. This is broken down into two eyepieces. When it comes to carrying these gas masks, as you saw in the intro, I was using a Vertex Gamut 2.0. I picked up that Vertex pack from Optics Planet, and if you want to pick one up, go ahead and use that discount code 715 Tactical, and it'll help save you some money on that purchase. The Vertex Gamut 2.0 is an awesome EDC pack. As you saw, I was able to fit both of these gas masks and the filters in there with no problem. It even left a little bit of room to be used. I've also been getting a lot of questions about this PDW bag. This PDW bag is made by a company called Lynx Defense. Specifically, this is their Bite PDW bag. It's the perfect size for firearms such as the Honey Badger or this PCC that I'm using. You know, I get a ton of questions about this setup and it's primarily one of my favorites and what I use on a regular basis. This is a Wyndham Weaponry GMC pistol, which stands for Glock Magazine Compatible. 
chambered in 9mm, and I'm also using a Silencer Co. Omega 9K on there. I'm using a tri-lug adapter, which Silencer Co., yeah, they were nice enough to send this out for me. Big shout out to those guys. I decided to join the tax stamp gang. Good God, let me tell you, I am extremely happy that I did. Once you shoot suppressed, you're not going to go back, man. It's that sweet. But as my truck gun, I definitely want something that's going to be relatively hearing safe. And when you use 147 grain subsonic ammunition, your ears are going to be okay if you have to use your firearm. This thing's designed specifically for CQB scenarios. You know, close quarter contact shit. Having a three lug adapter on here from Silencer Co. is very handy. If for some reason you want to take your silencer off in a quick hurry, this allows you to do that. Simply push down on the silencer, give it a turn, and it'll detach from your firearm. And to reinstall it is just that easy. If you guys have been pondering the idea or are currently in the market for respirators and filters, I highly recommend that you check out Mira Safety. These guys know what they're doing. They've been doing it for quite some time. As you can see, a lot of the global militaries use them. I'll leave a link to their website down in the video description. I really got to give a huge shout out to my friend Sam Schneider. He was nice enough to come down for the day and film me and my fiance to make this intro. Sam, you did a phenomenal job with the camera work and I really hope you come back and help us with some more videos. I think it's pretty safe to say that everybody watching this would like that too. I hope you're able to take something away from this video Guys, as always, thank you for stopping in, stay vigilant, and I will see you next time.